Roger has the game to beat Novak, there is no doubt about it. But Roger has it. He can do what not many players can do. He can mix the game so well, change the rhythm. If you play Novak with the same rhythm or you can't mix the game, it's incredibly difficult to beat him, almost impossible. The thing is, he didn't beat his opponent for such a long time, 2012. Of course, he was so close to do it. At Wimbledon, at the US Open, he had match points several times, but he didn't do it. So we know that he's close in terms of game. Well, we know he's able to do it, but the mental side of it, the fact that he didn't beat him for so long is gonna count for sure. So mentally, we all know that Novak is the super favorite of the match against, uh, against Roger. So it's gonna be difficult to handle, but the only way to handle that pressure is to have confidence. And at the moment, he is confident, he's playing well, he's won the ATP Cup playing good matches, winning important matches. This, in, on the build-up of a Grand Slam is, is incredibly important. And the last match against Raonic, the way he returned it, he showed that the confidence is on his side. So I think he'll be, he'll be able to fight that pressure with the confidence he gained. And Novak is the fittest of the two. The physical of Roger is the big question. Uh, we've seen in his previous match that he was already suffering so much physically. I think he's waiting, waiting, waiting. Uh, last moment to see how he feels. But even though he's able to play, if the match lasts a little bit, it will be over. So he will have no other option than to beat his opponent in three straight sets, which is the most difficult thing to do when you play a semi-final of a Grand Slam against Novak Djokovic.